I read, you know, how people... Not just how people felt from watching and listening, but what they thought the story was or what they thought the meaning was. I'm like, there's just so... There's so much meaning. The whale... Why are you so focused on the whale? <laughs> why the whale? I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. One of the first drafts we got back, there was no whale. There was no whale, but there were fish. I was like, oh, it's like she's swimming in the ocean. Like the void is the ocean. The darkness that she swims in. It's the, it's, it's water. <laughs> so the thing is there weren't that many fish. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I, I felt like it could, there needed to be more stuff, but it would have been such a pain. And I would not want to ask old Tori san to animate a bunch of more, like <laughs> more fish. So I was like, can you put a whale? The whale would look cool. Could you do you want to put a whale? <laughs> so that is the deep, deep meaning behind the whale. <laughs> to answer your question. It didn't want it to be too big of a void. Not too much of a void. I don't know for sure, but how I saw it was like Ume swimming against a current. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but there there were like some waves. Like not waves, the lines showing the movement of water and fishies swimming with the current. Even the whale swimming with the current. But Mume swims against the current. It's so deep! <laughs> I have no idea if there was any intention behind that, to be, to be honest. So, so deep. I find it really funny. You guys are more concerned about... Not cons well, Yeah, you're more curious about the whale. Rather than say, I don't know, the random chick. The random girl that was there. <laughs> the lady. Oh, oh, you're calling her the lady. Again. There's different ways. There's different ways you can be interpreted. <laughs> Interpretation. 